We're going to talk about interpreting linear, linear models here on the front page. And uh, the function f of t equals 1.90 plus 1.40t shows the cost of a hamburger with different number of toppings t. And the first question is, what is the y-intercept? And as we look at this equation, when we're looking for the y-intercept, we're looking for the value that does not have a variable. So when we're looking at this particular um, equation, our value is going to be 1.90. That's going to be our y-intercept. And what this means is it's how much the hamburger cost without any toppings. So to keep that a little bit shorter, we'll say it's the base cost of a hamburger. Well, since 1.90 is the y-intercept, our other value in our problem must be the slope, which is what our second question is. And as we take a look at this and get more specific here, when we answer this question, what is the slope? It's going to be 1.40. And what this means is that each... topping cost a dollar forty and then part C if Jody paid three dollars and thirty cents for a hamburger how many toppings were on Jody's hamburger well that's the total cost. So that's going to be the $3.30 is going to be the F of T. That's where it's going in the equation. And again, what we're looking for is we want to know how many toppings. So we have to solve this equation. And we're going to start by subtracting. 1.90 from both sides. And when we do, we get $1.40. We get 1.40. And then over here, we've got 1.40t. And we want to solve for t. So we need to undo. This is 1.40 times t, or multiplied by t. So we need to undo the multiplication by dividing by 1.40. So how many toppings that we have? We have one topping. Now what I can recommend here, even though I'm gonna go ahead and do this next example is, it's very similar to this one. Why don't you pause the video and see if you can do example two on your own? And we've got the function f of t equals 0.75t plus 2.25. It shows the cost of an ice cream sundae with different numbers of toppings, t. And so it, the first question says, what is the y-intercept? And again, when we're talking about the y-intercept, we're looking for the value in our equation that does not have a variable. In this case, it's 2.25. And what does that mean? It's the cost of the Sunday with no toppings. So we found the y-intercept, and now we want to know what the slope is in our other number here in the problem goes back with our slope and it's going to be 0.75. It's going to be the coefficient, the number in front of the t in this case. And what this means 
is that each topping cost 75 cents. 0.75, which by the way is 75 cents. It's a way of um, representing 75 cents. And then it says if K wants four toppings on her Sunday, how much will the Sunday cost? Well, once again, we need to solve that, but this time what we know is remember, sh she wants four toppings. So that means that T equals four, and we're going to put that value of four back into our equation. So we're going to do 0 0.75 times the four, there's the toppings, that's what T stands for, plus 2.25. And when we do the math here, 0 0.75 times four, and by the way, if you type that whole thing in, 0 0.75 times four plus 2.25 into Desmos, it will give you the answer. If you're doing it like I am, 0 0.75 times four is three, plus 2.25. So the Sunday is going to cost $5.25. So you're kind of getting the feel of things here because um, on this first page we're looking at um, the slope, the y-intercept, and what do these values mean in these equations. So the function uh, f of r equals 5 plus 1.75 r shows the cost to attend the Delaware County Fair if you ride r rides. So if we go back to this one again, the y-intercept. Remember, no variable. 5, and what does that mean? Well, it cost $5.00. To get into the fair. What is the slope? Well, the slope is going to be our 1.75, that number in front of the R. And what that means is that each ride cost I think it's actually plural it needs an S each ride cost a dollar 75 and finally here for this video if Al spent $19 at the fair how many rides did he go on so again, on these types of questions, we need to make sure that we're putting in the value where it needs to go. R stands for ride, so we're not putting the $19 in for that. We're putting the 19 in place of the F parentheses R, F of R. It's the function based on rides is what that really stands for. Equals 5 plus 1.75 R. And then we have to solve this equation. So we're going to subtract 5 from both sides. And we get 14 equals 1.75 r. We're trying to figure out what r equals, and it's 1.75 multiplied by r. So we have to undo that. So we're going to divide both sides by 1.75. And when we do, r equals 8, so 8 rides. 